Now, the man with the fastest knockout in professional boxing and WBO bantamweight champion of the world, Zolani Tete, will pay his final respects to Mama Winnie Madiki Mandela at her house in Soweto before jetting off uh, to Northern Ireland tomorrow. Tete takes on Argentine Omar Navayaz on the 21st of this month, his second mandatory defense of his title. The fight takes place at the SSE Arena in Belfast, the venue where he scored his record-breaking 11-second knockout in his last fight. Going through his paces, one last time in his home gym, his next challenger, Omar Navies. But the boxing champion will first pay his final respects to an undisputed champion in the fight against apartheid. Omar Mouin uh, has done a lot for this country. So I think it's, it's quite good for us as a team to pay respect to her. Uh, she's been there for South Africa, fighting in, in, in apartheid times. So I think it's, it's wise that uh, my team and I will go and show some, some respect. The 30-year-old Tedim, with a record of 23 wins in 26 fights and 21 knockouts, is going up against a 42-year-old veteran with 47 fights under his belt with just two losses and two draws. To my fans, I'm promising nothing but victory. Uh, we've done it before, so we're going to do it again. They mustn't worry. I'm always fit, always ready for the fight. I'm going to make this defense. Uh, thank you for the support they've always been giving throughout my career. Even this time around, I know they're supporting me. The fight comes three months after they, they knocked out countryman Siboni Sogonya with the first punch of their fight. A brutal right hook for the fastest knockout ever in a world title fight. Unatupingwase, ABC News, Mutanzani.